All right. Well, thanks for coming on today, Mike. I know you're a very busy realtor managing a lot of vacation rentals and rentals and whatever else you got up your sleeve there. From what I gather, this location is one of the best bang for your bucks in terms of Airbnb real estate investing. I wanted you to shed some light on that. Absolutely. Yep. Um, well, for those of you who don't know, Palm Springs is about two hours east of Los Angeles, and uh, they could kind of refer to it as the playground of the star. So a lot of the Hollywood types, uh, Hollywood moguls would use, uh, get little bungalows or condos out in the Palm Springs area to kind of retreat from the big city and have a nice place to go. You know, during about six to eight months of the year, we've got, it's essentially paradise here. It's beautiful, uh, palm trees, pools, you know, great places for martinis, great restaurants. Oh yeah. You know, it, it does get really hot in the summer. We are in a desert, uh, but you know, there's tons of golf courses out here and it's just kind of a, a great retreat for people from LA and Orange County to come. And really all over the world, we get a lot of people from uh, Minnesota, Seattle, uh, you know, people that are kind of escaping the, the winter months and want to have a great place to go. And, and you know, during uh, during the, the winter, you know, uh, that has sun and palm trees, that kind of thing. So, but we also get, uh, as far as Airbnbs go, there's a lot of uh, people that just come from, you know, come for a weekend or come for a week. Uh, Coachella is a big draw down here. So oh yeah. During that time frame, um, you know, having properties that you manage or that you rent out as an Airbnb can be very lucrative if you know what you're doing. You got somebody that helps you get the right area, the right price, that sort of thing. I have personally managed uh, at one time 68 vacation rentals uh, and mm -hmm. term rentals at one time. I also do sales and other leasing, that kind of stuff. But so I have a lot of experience with vacation rentals in general. So generally speaking, it's a hot market. People from all over the country come here, especially during winter months or when it's cooler. Uh, mm -hmm. in the north. It can be lucrative for people. And then if you have a property that you're renting out, you can use it for part of the time. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, they, most people don't use it during high season because they can get the most bang for their buck for rentals. You know, if they can kind of use it for themselves during skirt season, which would be like August, September, October, and maybe April, May, June, uh, you can really sometimes pay for a lot of your rental or your home uh, just and being able to use it during the skirt times too. So, you know, I'd say that Palm Springs downtown area close to central Palm Springs is a hot area for uh, vacation rentals, but the whole valley, it's called the Coachella Valley uh, from Palm Springs all the way out to Indio. Um, mm -hmm. It's a good uh, location for uh, short-term and long-term rentals. Um, everything East Valley, pretty much from Palm Desert out uh, is so completely, totally booked up. They've even heard stories about homeowners here, like leaving town just so they can rent their uh, their uh, home out during Coachella or some of the high, you know, like Stagecoach and some of the other big oh, yeah. stuff. So yeah. good spending money that way. Yeah, and I'd say, you know, it, it just depends on what you're looking for. We have one bedroom condos that can rent out for a vacation rental. Um, I've seen homes in like the Indio area, you know, really all over, uh, you know, some higher end homes, if people have the means to buy higher end, you know, we're talking a million to two to three million in that range. I've seen mm -hmm. uh, Airbnb goes for as much as $30,000 a month. So, you know, you just have to sit down and run the numbers. Uh, and in some cases, the, the rentals will pay for themselves. In other cases, it'll supplement the cost of your home. So you can use it for part of the time if you don't use it full time. Uh, yep. If it doesn't pay for itself, it pays for a lot of it. And then sometimes people go for making up that difference when there's appreciation on the value of the home too. So.